Bill Gates has been buying farmland since 2013 through his firm Cascade Investment. He sees agriculture as a stable and valuable investment. Gates has also stated that he believes more productive seeds can help avoid deforestation and assist with climate difficulties in Africa. Conspiracy theories have circulated about Gates buying farmland to starve Americans, but Gates has denied these claims. Gates is currently the largest private owner of farmland in the United States, with over 269,000 acres across multiple states. So in this video, we are going to discuss, why is Bill Gates buying so many farms? Now before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Bill Gates and conspiracy theories go together like peanut butter and jelly. The billionaire can't seem to do anything without drawing the conspiratorial ire of online netizens. One of the more colorful theories pertains to Gates's strange interest in U.S. agriculture, with rumors that the former Microsoft CEO owns upward of 80% of farmland in the United States. It has been said that farmers can't afford to be pessimists. Even in an age of rapidly encroaching automation, it isn't, and never has been, easy being a farmer. However, one cannot become a farmer without a sense of optimism. There are over 2 million individual farms in the United States. That is the equivalent of almost 900 million acres of arable land used for industry in the country. And the average size of a farm is about 444 acres. The typical family-owned farm makes about $69,000 in profits annually. However, due to climate change, international political tensions, tariff wars, and changing consumer diets, family-run farms have struggled to profit. Over 39% of the income generated by farmers in 2021 will come from tens of billions in government subsidy payments. Amazing, if true, but it's extremely not. In Reddit, Ask Me Anything, AMA, last week, Gates once again fielded a question pertaining to his aid holdings and stated that he actually only owns one by 4,000 of all U.S. farmland, or about 270,000 acres spread across 18 different states. Although nowhere near 80% of U.S. farmland, it's still a little more than one-third of the state of Rhode Island, a surprising amount for one person and enough to make Gates the largest landowner in the U.S. So, why does Bill Gates and other billionaires like him keep buying up so much farmland? Some experts have pointed to Gates' well-known sustainability and green tech initiatives as a possible reason, but during an earlier Reddit AMA in 2021, Gates said, my investment group chose to do this. It is not connected to climate. That's because the old adage goes, buy land, they aren't making it anymore. Which while canologists know isn't exactly true, but you get the idea. Starting in 2013, Gates began investing his billions through the firm Cascade Investment in agriculture because of its steady increase in value and low volatility. According to Mother Jones, the average price of farmland increased six times from 1940 to 2015, and the trend is likely to continue as the amount of arable land in the U.S. continues to shrink from climate-related pressures. However, this practice of buying up agricultural land predates Bill Gates and has been a popular investment for the super-rich since at least the early 2000s. The financial crisis later in that same decade prompted an explosion of investments into farmland when monetary safe havens became scarce. Although Gates owns these farms, he isn't changing their practices. Instead, he mostly acts like a landlord and allows professional farmers to keep doing their thing, even if those practices are ruinous to the environment. Similar to private equity firms destabilizing the housing market, millionaires and billionaires investing in farmland are also creating their own set of issues as they are now pricing out young farmers looking to buy land. Will Bill Gates' green tech initiatives ever intersect with his growing agricultural empire? Who knows? In that same Reddit AMA from 2021, the one where Gates separated his land investments from his sustainability initiatives. He also mentioned the importance of productive seeds to avoid deforestation as well as the production of biofuels, which relies heavily on corn in the very same answer.
For now, Gates' ever-expanding farmland ownership is really just rich guy doing rich guy things, and while concerning in a late-stage capitalism sort of way, it isn't as cartoonishly nefarious as some conspiratorial corners of the internet want to believe. Why Bill Gates is Buying Farmland Bill Gates is an American technology pioneer. Gates co-founded Microsoft. Gates is a renowned software developer, international philanthropist, noted business magnate, and investor. He is also the fourth richest man on planet Earth with a net worth of $125 billion. Now Bill Gates adds being the largest private owner of American farmland to his career achievements. Along with his wife Melinda Gates, Bill owns over 268,000 acres of farmland, diversified in over 19 states. Gates' private American farmlands are worth an estimated $690 million. Pessimistic conspiracy theories abound, but Bill Gates, America's largest farmland owner, is born from non salacious and pragmatic reasons. Gates is just using farmland to make agri-tech and financial investments. Owning farmland is one of the most prudent financial investments to make now. Farmland as an investment offers low volatility. In addition, corporations and the rich are investing in farmland to deal with climate change and supply products to a hungry world with changing tastes. New technologies must be developed to give more sustenance to land that we farm to keep it sustainable. Farmlands will only become more automated in the future. The plant-based protein craze will be worth $23.4 billion by 2027. Agricultural technology advances of the future, or agri-tech, will create super-productive seeds, sustainable biofuels, and super crops. It seems like Gates is getting ahead of the curve, relative to future agri-tech advances profitability, with his farmland investments. Here are some examples. Seed Science The typical farmer may plant anywhere between 75,000 to 250,000 seeds per acre to maximize as much seed yield advantage as possible. Climate change, inefficient farming practices, weather and plant disease are just a few of the reasons why farms sometimes fail to maximize their true seed yield potential. Gates, a philanthropist concerned with food insecurity in developing nations, could be betting that the next advancements in seed technology will be furthered on American farms. Seed technology is the process of using technology, updated farming methods, and genetically modified seeds to optimize yield potential, maximize yield potential in less than ideal farming conditions, and make farming practices infinitely more cost-efficient. Biofuel Development The world is running out of oil. However, no one knows precisely when that will happen. The current best estimate is that the modern world will run out of fossil fuels and the ability to fuel its global fossil fuel-run infrastructure by the year 2067. According to some scientific estimates, there may be only 1.7 trillion barrels of oil in the world today. However, these are just estimations. There may be more oil in the world. However, the development and implementation of new technologies to withdraw fossil fuels hidden deep in the earth are currently financially impractical, and the methods may cost more than the value of the yield. Gates and One About 60% of the farmers in Africa and Asia, almost 3 billion people, are poverty-stricken subsistence farmers, and they barely produce enough crops for food or profit. Additionally, because the farmers don't have access to state-of-the-art agriculture tools or technology, they never maximize yield potential. Super Crops Gates' hefty investment in American farmland may also be tied to his interests in developing super crops. Super crops are genetically modified seeds, crops, and livestock to maximize as much yield as possible. For example, seeds are being genetically designed to grow in near non-arable and hostile soil conditions. How will Bill Gates affect U.S. farming? As previously mentioned, Bill Gates' investment in farming may precipitate future advancements in agri-tech and traditional farming practices, EC technologies, super crops, and overall farming efficiencies. However, Bill Gates investing in farmland may encourage others to begin viewing farmland as smart investing opportunities. Investing in farmland is not as volatile as investing in traditional stocks, 
and farmland investments are great additions to a diversified portfolio. More farmland investments may help struggling farms survive. And the most significant way that Gates' investments may affect farming is causing more people to see farmland as something to invest in rather than take farmland existence for granted. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.